Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start with information. These are some updates on the NAR. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, dinar opinions, and dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. All Sudani has rocked it. They showcase this country like they've never done before. We've never seen this. Anybody that's been in this investment since 2003 has never witnessed. What we're witnessing today, if they were going to come out at 1,310 dinar to try to do all the things they're doing right now the world would be just like they were in Kuwait, crickets. This is powerful. Wonderful. Everybody's like, hey Nader you're there for the announcement. There's no announcement. There's not big screens. They're going to come out with a new exchange rate. Maybe a little smaller for now yes. You see they talking about changing the exchange rate again. Yeah, they're going to do it soon. We'll see what it is. It could be 1000. Remember we said 1000 and then they eliminate the three zeros. You're going to have to be patient. Is it possible for Alok, who is currently in the United States, to deliver a speech in Iraq today? Stay tuned to find out the intriguing story behind this unexpected turn of events. Sadani had planned to make a speech in Iraq, but unfortunately, he missed the opportunity as the time had passed on. To everyone's surprise, the speech was then delivered by Alok. However, Alok is currently in the United States. How could he possibly deliver a speech in Iraq today? Let's unravel the mystery behind this seemingly impossible feat. The pre-recorded interview it turns out that the speech delivered by Alok was actually a pre-recorded interview. By leveraging technology, Alok was able to share his message with the audience in real time, despite being miles away. This innovative approach highlights the power of modern communication tools in bridging geographical barriers. The impact of globalization. This unique situation underscores the interconnected nature of our world today. Globalization has enabled us to transcend physical boundaries and connect with individuals from different corners of the globe. Alok's virtual presence in Iraq serves as a powerful example of how technology has transformed the way we communicate and collaborate, embracing change and adaptability. In a rapidly evolving world, it is essential to be adaptable and open to change. Alok's ability to deliver a speech remotely demonstrates the importance of embracing new possibilities and leveraging technology to overcome challenges. By thinking outside the box, we can find creative solutions to seemingly insurmountable obstacles as we navigate the complexities of our modern world. Let Alok's story inspire us to embrace innovation, adaptability, and the power of connectivity. Remember, no challenge is too great. When we approach it with an open mind and a willingness to explore new possibilities. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video to join the conversation.